What's up, everyone? Uh, my name is Max. I'm one of the founders at uh, Alpha Arcade. Uh, we're a prediction market built on Algorand. Uh, I'm also one of the founders at Lofty. Um, Jerry obviously just presented, so you know how that works. Um, so I'm just going to kind of walk through what we're doing at Alpha Arcade, how we came up with the idea, and then just do a quick demo. And then I'll probably open it up to questions. I'm sure a lot of you know how prediction markets work. I'm sure you've seen Polymarket. Um, Alpha Arcade is, is very similar. Uh, for us, we're really focused on some initial categories like um, crypto, uh, sports events, and then Algorand related events. Um, so we, Mark and I, uh, my co-founder, we really became obsessed with Poly Market during the 2024 election, as most people did. Um, it was just so cool to be able to see the odds update in real time based on certain events happening. So for example, uh, Trump says something crazy in a debate, maybe his odds are at 60%, they might drop to 57%. And so this is just something that you can't get with polls. Um, I personally have never even spoken with someone that's done a poll. And I've spoken to other people and they haven't talked to anyone that's done polls either. Um, and the ability for these prediction markets to really show you, like just really the co cohesive opinions of people around the world for specific events, uh, we think is super interesting. Um, you know, you could go on Twitter and, and under a certain subject, you could see people arguing about certain things and you can kind of get a feel for um, how people feel about a certain subject on one side of the table and on the other side of the table. But in reality, when people are posting on Twitter, uh, that's all they're doing. They're typing a few things, they're pressing tweet, and that's it. Um, it doesn't really require effort. But with the prediction market, in order to place a prediction, you are putting your money where your mouth is. And so people are likely to do a lot more research before they actually make a prediction because, again, they're putting down their hard-earned money. And as you could see with like the 2024 election, uh, Poly Market was able to successfully predict all of the swing states. And so I think most people understand that prediction markets can be both extremely helpful in predicting events and essentially giving people the ability to really bet on anything. Um, so you can see here, uh, we have a few markets live right now. We launched this, I want to say, three weeks ago. Um, you can see Algorand uh, hitting a certain price by a certain time. I think the whole world of crypto is, is in an interesting spot right now with, with the prices. Um, I'm going to do a quick demo for uh, a basketball game tonight, which is the Nuggets versus the Bucks. So if you click into the market, you can see here uh, there's two different options. There is a yes share and a no share. Um, so you can see here, the yes share is at 57 cents. And what that essentially means is if you purchase one yes share, you're obviously predicting that the Nuggets will beat the Bucks. And if you end up being correct, you win a dollar. So it's very simple. And when you are placing a yes prediction, you are matching with a no prediction at 43 cents because they each need to add up to a dollar. And so one of the coolest parts about prediction markets is uh, it's peer-to-peer, -peer. so you're betting against someone else, whereas with a lot of other betting markets, you are betting against the house. Um, and so I'll just do a really quick demo right here. So let's just say uh, we want to bet yes, do a market order for five bucks, pull up my para wallet, submit. And so you can see here right here is the spread. You can see there's limit orders, market orders, which go through instantly. I'm going to submit this right here. Pull up my para wallet, confirm, close, and it should go through. Yeah, so super simple. Uh, once you make a prediction, you can go to your portfolio. You can see that prediction in place. Yes, share, 57 cents. Um, you can go back to the market. Uh, and one of the cool things is, for example, uh, once the game starts, let's say the Nuggets get off to a good lead, that yes share might be worth, say, 70 cents. And so you could sell that yes share you bought at 57 cents for 70 cents, locking in a profit. Um, so I'll just go ahead and sell this just so you can see how that process works. I'm um, just putting five right here, sell, submit, and should go through. Yeah, so super easy. Um, it really is just, in my opinion, the simplest way to really make predictions on any types of events. Uh, we plan to definitely expand into different categories, for example, uh, geopolitics, elections, uh, for example, like will Trump, Trump end the Ukraine war in the first 90 days? Um, who's going to win the Oscars? Who will win a certain sporting event? 
And so for us, like we, we want to expand into a ton of different categories. And we think that this can really be the biggest prediction market um, out there for a few reasons. One reason being we are built on Algorand. And as many of you know, um, Algorand has by far the best tech. We've seen this at Lofty, uh, running that for over four years, never any downtime, super fast transaction speed, low fees. And so if anyone comes to Alpha Arcade, they're gonna have a great experience because we're built on Algorand. And we plan to go multi-chain, bring people in from all around, um, different chains, you know, you could use USDC on ETH, ETH, Bitcoin. And for us, just knowing that these people coming from other chains are gonna have a great experience because it's so smooth because we're built on Algorand. Um, and so we're all big fans of Algorand, obviously. We've had a great experience with Lofty uh, and with Alpha Arcade. So yeah, we're just, we're super excited to be live and um, happy to, you know, open it up to any questions anyone has. Earl. We, we, we took a little bit for what we did on Lofty. <laughs> we, we definitely took, um, I mean, Mark is, is the, the engineer behind it, but we definitely took a lot of the stuff we did with Lofty and applied it to, to Alpha Arcade for sure. We set them up, but most of the markets we've launched have actually been people uh, submitting markets that they like. We'll launch the markets and then they'll provide that initial liquidity. Yeah. No, exactly. So, so any, anyone could come to us with any type of market. We can launch that market. We do have to obviously avoid markets that can be easily manipulated um, and then markets that uh, are vague. So like we really have to look at the rules specifically to make sure that they're unambiguous just so we don't run into disputes, which Polymarket has run into a lot with, with their platform. How do you handle uh, the Yep. Um, so a lot of them, we're lucky in the sense that a lot of the markets we launch um, on the geopolitics side of things are already on Polymarket and Calshi, which are the other prediction markets. So unlike Lofty, there's really a blueprint. Um, so we can take a lot of what they've done with their rules um, and we can look at kind of what they've done to make them unambiguous and apply it to our own um, product. And so I'd say we spend most of the time when coming up with new markets, just making sure that the rules are, there's just no vagueness whatsoever. Uh, Cause you're just shooting yourself in the foot at a later stage if there's any thing that's really open to interpretation. Any other questions? Go again. Ah, yes, I mean. No better time than now. Uh, so one of, besides being built on Algorand, um, I would say one of the biggest differences between Alpha Arcade and other prediction markets is the fact that we have our own uh, native utility token. Uh, so Alpha token, if you hold Alpha, you actually earn a portion of the trading fees from the prediction market. Um, so we do have a revenue model, but we as a company don't actually make any revenue. Um, all of the revenue from the trading fees either goes to people holding alpha tokens, it goes to LPs that are providing, um, essentially making bets within the spread, or it's going towards purchasing alpha tokens, which are then burned to reduce supply. Uh, so we've spent a lot of time really creating these tokenomics to incentivize people, one, to buy uh, alpha tokens, and two, to trade more on the, on the prediction market. Um, so we're super excited. Uh, shout out to, to Bit, D13, uh, Tazos, who helped us really set the tokenomics up. And uh, it's, yeah, it's been super exciting. Are you, are you concerned about Alpha token? No, we, we've thought long and hard about uh, the utility side of Alpha token. Uh, the last thing we wanted to do was create a token just to have a token, uh, which is, I think, one of the reasons we have not launched a token on Lofty, because coming up with the utility has, has been pretty tough. Um, so to be honest, like it, it really is a great way to, it really does have a lot of um, utility. And this is something, Polymarket doesn't have a token. Uh, Calshi, the other big prediction market, um, isn't even peer to peer. It's not even on the blockchain. And so really people, want, people holding the token, they're generating fees from that token they hold. And people that are um, essentially providing liquidity, betting within the spread, they're receiving rewards um, every five minutes. And so I could show my para wallet. Um, I've been getting rewards for providing liquidity for a few markets. They come in every five minutes. And it's, it's just really exciting to be able to reward people that, that hold alpha tokens. So it's, it's been exciting. But a lot of work to actually make sure it had a utility instead of just, again, launching a token to have a token. Yeah. 
Definitely. Uh, one idea we really like um, that Mark likes specifically is um, essentially the ability to like hedge or get insurance. And especially like natural disasters, you can imagine, um, let's say you live in Tampa and there's a market that says there's a 60% chance of a, a hurricane happening in Tampa in the next few months. Um, you might not have insurance on your house, you might have insurance, but regardless, you can essentially hedge by betting yes on that event occurring, and if it were to occur, you've essentially hedged yourself from um, just not having as much risk as you had before. Uh, so we think the insurance side and, and really building this to actually provide like a social good is something we really care about and something that we haven't really seen the other prediction markets focus on. And then of course, like Algorand related events, like will folks finance hit a certain TVL by this point? Uh, will Balsack take over Munko? I think that'll be pretty hype. Um, you know, Munko reaching a certain market cap. Uh, we could even do markets with Lofty too, um, like Lofty reaching a certain TVL. So literally, if, if anyone here has ideas for markets, let us know and we can probably launch it. Um, that's the exciting thing. It takes like two minutes to spin up a market and it just means less work for us having to come up with new market ideas. So by all means, <laughs> like let us know anytime. Cool. Appreciate it, guys.